But I think it was over 20 years. I didn't know what was happening to me. You know, I didn't even know that it has a name. It's called in French, Mary of the, Mary, Le Mari de la Nuit. I think a uh, husband of, I don't know how to translate in English. Yes. So it seemed to, it looks like I've been sleeping with the demon for like over 20 years. But I didn't know really what they, I didn't know the meaning or, I didn't even know it was the demon. I thought it was just a dream, you know, a bad dream. All these years, I just was, when it, I, since I didn't know what it was, it. so I was just in the house. I refused to go out. I, um, everything just, I didn't want to do nothing. I just go to work, just come home. I was just sitting in the house. And then, you know, after, when you have this kind of stuff, you think it's something bad, and you call your parents, and they will send you all those things that, oh, it's, they are going to clean you with this African stuff. So I started doing those, and then I, I realized it was making my, it was making things worse. Seriously, I started seeing stuff moving in my house. Even when I travel, I went to visit my friend in Oregon. Things happened with me. Things happened to me down there. I couldn't understand. Things start moving around me when I put something here, and then the next time I see it over there. I was starting to be very easy that I was losing my mind or something was playing with me in the house. Sometimes I'll come downstairs because I'm a very organized person. I know when I put something here, I know I did, but I start realizing that things are moving around me, which I wouldn't, I wasn't, I didn't understand why, you know. So I start losing my mind until Mama Adele bless her, bless to her, bless to her heart. I talked to her because I know her since almost oft, almost 20 years I know Mama Adele. So I told her my problem and then she said, well, I thought she was giving, she was going to give me something like we do in Africa, you know, something to clean my body, you know, those African stuff. She said, no, I'm just going to show you somebody. He's very good, trust him. And he, she presented me Pastor Effort and Dr. Keza, so. They come over my house, they pray, they pray, they pray for me. And uh, it's like I had a bad things in my house. So for now, I mean, today everything is gone. I don't feel fr afraid. Amen. Nothing is moving around my house. And uh, I start praying. You know, now I pray every day, every morning. I don't leave my house without praying. I leave my, I used to watch YouTube movies but now it's the only thing I do is just pray listen to gossip songs but the Bible now is my number one thing so that's what I'm doing read read I'm learning how to read the Bible things I didn't know how to do before pray and pray so thank the prayer is very powerful because I really realize that now since now I can sleep I don't see no more dream I don't see no more nobody in my dreams anymore Nothing is moving around my house. So thank you, Pastor Defo. Thank you. Thank you. I used to be very, very scared. I almost become crazy in my own house. So now everything's okay. Thank you. The devil is wicked. And he has lost the battle. He has lost the battle. Amen. So when we went to our sister's house, we burnt stuff. We burnt stuff. And the devil could not hold us back from burning it. And she stood there and she looked at it whilst we were burning it and she was praising God. If the sun therefore shall make you free, You'll be free indeed. The devil cannot possess her body. The Bible says that we have overcome him. You see, if you read Luke chapter 10 verse 17, the disciples came to Jesus and they said that even the demons are subject to us. And demons are subject to us. Demons are subject to you, Sister Delphine. Powers and principalities are subject to you in the name of Jesus. Be on your feet. 
Please grab the microphone and let's worship God. The other day, and I'm going to preach about let my people go. Let my people go. Any bondage, any power, any spirit that wants to hold anybody hostage, it cannot. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Everything. Everything written about you is great. Oh, demons tremble. Demons tremble at your presence. And what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. share today. If you cannot share today, next time. He went very far. So I used to be in the crystals and like that new age spirituality and Pastor Hayford offered to to come by and, and do a burning of those things as well. But what I did was I did bring in what I had to Pastor Hayford just to get rid of those spirits. But there was a time period where I felt like I had demonic spirits that were hovering over me in sleep. I was had really bad ins insomnia and it wasn't really until I started to see how the things that I was believing in was affecting me in my life. It wasn't Christ. It wasn't of God. So I got rid of all the, the, the beads, the, uh, the crystals, and I focused only on the Bible. Like the Bible replaced where I put those things. And Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. See, there are things going on. Amen. And they have overcome the devil. Amen. 
they are no more there. Amen. Now they are on fire for Jesus. Amen. And this thing is to shame the devil. Amen. Not to shame you. To shame what? The devil. the devil. Because there are people who think that is a solution. And you have found that that is not a solution. So when you share, it shames the devil because you're exposing the devil. And you're letting Satan know that he is weak. Because you found a refuge that Satan could not give you. Now he said that, Pastor Hayford, I took, I have some of these things. You had more than one, right? Yeah. One for uh, mindfulness. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, had, I had one that represented the different chakras, like mind and how you speak and like wealth and for like health and different areas of the body and the different areas of life. And I just, I would wear them around. Like they would give me power. I, I would put, belief in how the energy would kind of feed into me from the crystals but honestly it's all that comes from god i have all that energy now through faith that it's just even more powerful than anything that i've ever experienced so there is power in the name of jesus there is power Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Chain, break every 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 chain, Chains falling. Yeah, 
wanted to attack me. It was um, one day, and um, I got back from work. I was home, I had had dinner and all that, and I was just ready to go to sleep. And then I started having um, stomach pain. My stomach was hurting so bad. I took a lot of um, painkillers, I had a few um, medicines that I thought would probably help me. And I've never experienced that before, but um, sometimes people have gas and it's just like, <laughs> if, like just one hour and it just pass. But um, from 10 p.m. till 12, I could not walk. I could not even, I just had to crawl on, on the bed and I was just alone by myself. Um, even up till 2 a.m. I was praying, I was doing everything I can, I was drinking a lot, of, a lot of water, I was just doing everything humanly possible to get rid of the pain and it was just too unbearable. I thought I was going to die. At that point, I didn't know what to do, I couldn't stand straight, I can't even, I can't do nothing. And so I just called um, Mr. Nyanfo and Mary at 2 a.m. And then I went ahead and also called um, Pastor Hayford and and um, Pastor Kezia, so they can pray for me or take me to the hospital. And it was at 2 a.m. They came by, thankfully, we went to Duke Urgent Care <laughs> in the middle of the night. And um, we were just sitting there, I was throwing up. I couldn't help it. Um, doctors were keeping long, I, I, I couldn't. I was just throwing up, I was just like so, the pain was unbearable. And then at that point, <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> at that point, <laughs> um, Pastor said, we prayed. Actually, we even prayed before we left home. And then um, Pastor was like, he thinks that um, probably soda can, can help. So Mr. Nyanfo ran to get me some Diet Coke. <laughs> at that time, it was like 4 a.m. And still doctors I was still in line for doctors to come see me and um, he brought the soda took a sip first sip <laughs> second sip and then I felt like a relief at that point I just felt like something something had, had left my body <laughs> um, I just got up pastor was like can you walk because I couldn't walk before and so I walked all the way back and forth. And then he was like, let's go home. <laughs> I didn't even get to see a doctor. And ever since that day, I've been strong. <laughs> yes, so I just want to thank God. And um, I also was involved in an accident. That almost took my life. Um, the car flipped over. It was, my car was total. But um, here I am again. <laughs> I went to the doctor, <laughs> um, they checked for brain damage, they checked for concoction, they checked for everything and there was nothing, Hallelujah. there was nothing. I wish you can see my car, my car was, to it was damaged beyond repairs, like beyond repairs, but I just thank God for life, yes. I feel like the devil's been trying me a lot, but God has kept me. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. God bless you. Keep you, make his face shine upon you, and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you.
your children and their children and their children may his favor go before you and a thousand generations and your children and their children and their children and their children may his presence go before you and behind you and beside you all around you and within you he is with you he is with you in the morning and the evening in your coming and your going in your weeping and rejoicing he is for you 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 In the name of Jesus, Yvette, God has blessed you. Amen. She has honored you. Amen. In the name of, the Jesus, name of Jesus, you will always live to see the goodness of yes, the Lord. Lord. Let my people go, that they may go and worship me. Let Yvette go, that she will constantly worship the Lord. Enough, no more accidents. In the name of Jesus, you won't die young. In the mighty name of Jesus, I seal this testimony with the blood of Jesus. Glory will be given to the Lord Jesus Christ every day. In the name of Jesus, you prosper in all your ways. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will advance as a child of God. In the name of Jesus, you will never lack anything. In Jesus' name, if the Son has set you free from accident, from food poisoning, from all kinds of things that the devil thought of doing to you. Death. Yes, yet though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, even you will not be afraid. For the Lord is with you. He's your shade at your right hand. In the name of Jesus. You are covered in the blood of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, I thank you for your de the deliverance. Oh, God Almighty, the powers of all cults couldn't hold him. Yes, crystals couldn't hold him. Jesus, you've held this gentleman. And Jack, God will use you for amazing things. In the name of Jesus. This is just the beginning. You constantly shame the devil. 
everywhere you stand, your testimony will bring young people to Jesus. Young people who don't know where to go, they will run to the name of Jesus because of your testimony. Because you were able to break out of the camp of the devil in the name of Jesus. The Lord Jesus broke you out of the camp of the devil. Yes, and he has set you free. And you are free indeed. You are free. You are freed. You are free. In the name of Jesus, you are free. You are free in the name of Jesus. From today going, your hand is like an iron hand. You break walls down. You destroy chariots of the devil. You go very far. I seal you with the blood of Jesus. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your daughter's life. Oh, Lord, your name be magnified. Let your fire never depart from her. In the name of Jesus, as an evidence, oh, brood over her right now with your glory, 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 with your glory. With your glory, 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 your glory, crown hair, 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 yes, thank you for your crown upon her head. Your royal diadem in God's hand. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you for crowning her. Thank you for crowning her. Receive the fire in your soul, in your spirit. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Yes, you are. Amashia. Lion of Judah. Agune.
come to me, go. I curse you to your roots. I curse you to your roots. I curse you to your roots. You should not speak to her again. In the name of Jesus. She's a daughter of Abraham. She's a daughter of Abraham. She's for Jesus. 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 She's been called for Jesus. She's been anointed to do things of God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Struggling with something, just come. Yeah, yeah, you are sick with something. Lion of Judah. Is a temple of God. Your body is a temple of God. Your body is a temple of God. Your body is a temple of God. You will not be held posted by any sickness. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God has given you your voice to minister. You will minister. And nothing can stop you. Nothing can stop you. In the name of Jesus. Nothing can stop you. I bind any spirit of sickness. I bind any spirit of sickness. Any spirit of intimidation that will intimidate you, intimidate you, and hold you hostage. In the name of Jesus, you are broken from that sickness. In the name of Jesus, put your hand on your belly. In the name of Jesus. Her womb is for you, Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Her uterus belongs to you. No pain has power over it. No force has power over it. It's been made that the day you marry, you will have children crying in your house and giving praise unto you in the name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus Father I thank you I thank you that she is for signs and wonders in Jesus name Amen Lion of Judah Your children will see your visions. I bind any kind of dream that is not of God in the name of Jesus. From today going, any power that will visit you in your sleep to frustrate you, to try to torment you, to try to abuse you you are not going to lose Father in the name of Jesus say this after me say, in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus it's okay in the name of Jesus I am a child of God when I sleep I sleep in the name of Jesus. 
in the name of Jesus. My dreams are not influenced by the devil. So in Jesus' name, from today going, no power should influence my dream. In Jesus' name, no power should visit me in my dream. In the name of Jesus, any force that would dare to come near me, it is written, it is written in the word of God that I am God's battle axe. I'm God's battle axe. I am God's battle axe. And he will shatter kingdoms with me. So I shatter any kingdom and any darkness that want to rise up against me, want to rise up against my marriage, who want to destroy me, want to give me sickness, want to stop me. I stop you in the name of Jesus. Don't operate in my life again. Don't visit me again in the name of Jesus. For you are not mine. I'm for Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, I thank you for your glory upon your daughter. She's for signs and wonders. The fire of God is upon her. The Bible says, Jesus says that the Spirit of God, the Lord is upon me because the Lord God has anointed me to proclaim good tidings. You speak good tidings, good news. You won't see bad things to say bad things that has happened in a dream. You see good things. Your hand is made like sword, flaming sword. Anybody that tries to come into your dream to abuse you, you slash them down in the name of Jesus. Any power that will rise up against you, your hand is a weapon and will destroy them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh is the Lamb of God. Is the Lamb of God who sits upon the throne. He alone is worthy. upon the throne He alone is worthy of our praise Kadosh, Kadosh Kadosh, Kadosh Kadosh, Kadosh Kadosh, Kadosh Kadosh, Kadosh Kadosh It's the Lamb of God It's the Lamb of God who sits upon the throne upon the throne He alone is worthy of our
said it in multiple ways. You won't take her life. You ancient Zion's king, Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. You will live to see your children and children. You ancient Zion's king, Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. That would be like an excuse. You are mighty you said that, oh, she got sick. You are mighty on your throne. But you will not die. You are mighty on your throne. Satan, in the name of Jesus. You are mighty on your throne. I declare you now. You are mighty on your throne. You have fallen before. You shall. You are mighty on your throne. And her God. You are mighty In the name of Jesus. This woman that you are started pursuing, you always lose. In the name of Jesus. She will live forever. In the name of Jesus. I pray in the name of Jesus. Your mind is for Jesus. Your brains are for the Lord. Blood doesn't stay in the brain. Land doesn't stay in the brain. Yes, it doesn't stay in the brain. So I declare in the name of Jesus, your body should be in it normal. It's a temple of God. You won't die through blood pressure. I declare healing for you. I declare healing for you. Eat it as a food. Your brain, take it in the name of Jesus. You will leave. Your husband and your children will find joy in the Lord because of you. In the name of Jesus, thank you. I mark you with the blood of Jesus. Be marked with the blood of Jesus. Be marked with the blood of Jesus. Worshipping and praising the Lord. Uh, for a while there, I've been praying that the Lord would use me mightily for His glory. And I felt the lukewarmness um, of my, my heart um, of just um, past experiences in church has built up and caused this heaviness on my heart. But I felt um, since we moved four months ago, little by little, I've been feeling um, lighter um, but this morning the Lord has lifted me up um, I felt the touch of the Holy Spirit as I was worshiping water start streaming down my eyes and I felt like I was moving faster than my mind was telling me I was moving and I was just praising the Lord and I I just felt so light and unburdened I just felt this this heaviness of my heart just got lifted and I was just joyful in the moment and I want to praise the Lord and I that he continued to use me for his glory that I will no longer be timid I will no longer listen to the voices saying that I'm not enough saying that I don't deserve his grace because I know I don't deserve it but he has given it to me Lord Jesus, that I am covered by the blood of Jesus. I want to ask for your prayer that the Lord, that I will continue in this grace, that I would continue to listen to the voice of the Spirit, that, that I will not get back in my shell because I feel, I, I like how I feel right now. The Lord has lifted me. You
To natural means of coming out is breach. But don't worry. Amen. Two times babies have been turned upside down for their head to come down in this church. Amen. It happened to my wife, transverse. We prayed and the baby turned in the womb and she had a baby with the head down. Joseph was transverse, but he had his head down in this same place. Affliction will not happen a second time. We are going to call the baby's head to come down. And you see right now. Put your hand at where you put your hand the first time. Jesus, right now, not tomorrow, now. You see where your father's hand is? That is where I want your head to be. So I command you right now in the name of Jesus to move down, now, now. Move towards your father's hand, right now, right now. Right now, right now, right now, 
right now. Right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the movement. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. That this baby is complying. Yeah, you can worship God. Don't worry. Feel free to worship. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I call forth your head to go down. In the name of Jesus. She doesn't have to go through any kind of surgical operation. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hey, hey. 
head down. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. For you to have babies, not just one, not just two, unless you decide not to have it. So, in the name of Jesus, this baby will come naturally with the head because the head has gone down. In the name of Jesus. Go into active labor. When doctors cannot stop it, but you come very fast in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. What you've done in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The baby has ten. Amen. She will remain in that position Amen. till December. Amen. Amen. And she will engage the cervix constantly. They'll go for an, another ultrasound. And you see that the head of the baby is down. Amen. Say, Father, I thank you. Demons are subject to me. Powers and principalities are subject to me. I've been given power to trample upon them. So Satan, demons, principalities, witches and wizards, you who operate in my area, because of me, you will not operate again in the name of Jesus. Because of me, you can fly over the area in the name of Jesus. Because of me, you will not prevail in my area. In the name of Jesus, because of me, you won't kill any human being in my area. In the name of Jesus, because of me, people with suicidal thoughts will, will, will no more kill themselves. In the name of Jesus, my marriage will prosper. My children will prosper. My work will prosper. My Christian life will prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus. I have the peace of Jesus. The Bible is, has said, it is written, I have the mind of Christ. So I will not be depressed in my mind. I will not be depressed. I will not be depressed. In the name of Jesus, you spirit of depression, if you come near my dwelling, you fall flat on your face. In the name of Jesus, any form of giant, any form of Goliath, any form of dragon, any form of demon that tries to come closer to me, they will fall flat on their face. In the name of Jesus, you cannot mess up with my life. You cannot mess up with my future. You cannot mess up with my family. You cannot mess up with anything that I do. 
in the name of Jesus. I will only go far. I will go above. I will never come back. I will never come back. I will move forward in the name of Jesus. Amen. May God bless you. God cause his face to shine upon you. May God's countenance be upon you. May God be gracious to you. May God exalt your horn and lift up your head. He should cause your enemies to fall. May God's countenance continually be upon you. He should be gracious to you. He should open double doors for you. You don't have to use your hand to open any door. You, do, double doors will open before you. You will not be involved in an accident. You will not die on timely death in the name of Jesus. May God keep you safe and secure in him. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you all. Have a fruitful week.